In question 9, the problem statement says in the figure that we see here, both RISK risk and CLUE clue, both of these quadrilaterals are parallelograms. So let me highlight both of these quadrilaterals for you. So RISK is this quadrilateral R, I, S and K and C L U E would be C L U and E. So this is the quadrilateral C L U E. So both of these quadrilaterals are parallelograms. Using this we have to find the value of X. What is X? X is this angle that you see that's formed here and let's call this point of intersection let's call it t so x is the angle which is formed at this vertex this point t inside the triangle est so how can we find x so i'm going to first describe the logic the reasoning that we're going to use to solve this problem and then we will write out the steps properly so what we will do is we will focus on the triangle est so let me highlight this triangle for you e s t this triangle okay in this triangle one of the angles which is the angle at t is the unknown x and then the other two angles are the angles at e this angle here and the angle at s these two angles and the interesting thing is that both of these angles can be easily found because the angle at e which is angle s e t is opposite to this angle 70 degrees in the parallelogram CLUE and similarly the angle at S this angle here this angle this is opposite uh, this is adjacent to this angle at K 120 degrees in the parallelogram RISK so both of these angles can be found easily and then we can apply the angle sum property in triangle SET and find the value of X so this is the logic this is the reasoning that we're going to use to solve this problem all right, so let's first find the angle at E. So in parallelogram C L U E, we can see that the angle at E, which I can write as angle S E T, right? Angle S E T, this angle here, this is equal to the angle at L, which is 70 degrees. And this is because these are opposite angles in a parallelogram. Now, Let's find the angle at S. So in parallelogram RISK, uh, the angle at S, which is angle EST, so angle EST forms an, uh, is an adjacent angle to the angle at K, which is 120 degree. So we can write angle EST plus angle K is equal to 180 degrees because these two angles are adjacent angles in a parallelogram. So angle EST plus the angle at K is 120 degrees. This is equal to 180 degrees. And this means that angle EST is equal to 180 minus 120, which is equal to 60 degrees. All right. Now, finally, we can apply the angle sum property to triangle EST. So let's apply the angle sum property to triangle EST. So what are the three angles in triangle EST? So one of them is angle SET. So angle SET. The second one is angle EST. So angle EST. And the third one is angle ETS, which is the angle formed at the word, uh, point T, which I'm going to directly write as the unknown X. So th this sum must be equal to 180 degrees. All right, so SET is 70 degrees, EST is 60 degrees. So we get 70 plus 60 plus X equal to 180 degrees or 130 degrees plus X is equal to 180 degrees. And this gives us the value of X. X is equal to 180 minus 130 and that's equal to 50 degrees. So the angle formed at T, the angle X, the unknown X, it has a measure of 50 degrees and this is the answer for question number 9. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap. 
a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers